Mr. Paquette. Did you speak to the lieutenant when you rushed out of the door after him, as you have just so dramatically described it? Yes, I said lieutenant. And this was the same man you just testified you weren't sure you recognized? Well, yes. The lights from the bar room weren't helping you when you correctly called him by name, were they? Well, I guess it was him. My question was, Mr. Paquette, were the lights helping you? No. Now. It's no secret that a dozen odd casual patrons in the bar clearly recognized the lieutenant, but you who had been standing by the door when he entered, and also when he left, you had to guess his identity. That's correct. What, if anything, did the lieutenant do when you spoke his name? <laughs> he turned around. And then were you able to confirm your shrewd guess as to who he was? Yes, sir. Did the lieutenant say anything? Yes. Will you please, Mr. Paquette, tell me what it was that he said? You want some too, bitch? <laughs> and he was pointing his gun at you. I believe he was. His empty gun. I didn't know it was empty. You said you heard six shots. Was he pointing a nine millimeter at you or not? I never said I knew anything about guns. Mr. Quill was the expert, not me. <laughs> I see. Now, Mr. Paquette, I assume, of course, you have told your stories of the incident of that night to the police, have you yes. not? Yes. And to Prosecutor Ludwig? Yes. And to his part-time helper, Mr. Claw Dancer? Yes, yes, and you, yes. of course, told all of them, did you not what you have just told me, namely that the lieutenant wheeled around and said, do you want some too, bitch? <laughs>